families we have been looked down on people have concluded on you you don't look like the prophetic declarations on your head the reason people ignore you is because your future is not on your face where you are going where you are going is not a garment you wear so they look at your condition and draw a conclusion and they look at you you don't look like it have you seen situation where people despise you but there's a word for you that after now those that belittle you shall belittle those that belittle you shall belittle joseph did not look like his dream joseph did not look like his prophecy sometimes you don't look like it the bible says in john 3 verse 5 the wind bloweth where it listed thou hearest the sound but cannot tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth john 3 verse 8 so is every man john 3 8 so is every man that is born of the spirit you, you are like the wind you are so unpredictable nobody can understand because today you look broke but there is a future ahead of you today you look stranded but there's a future ahead of you rejoice not over me oh my enemy for if i fall i will arise when i sit in darkness the lord shall be my light there are so many of you under the sound of my voice your friends have despised you the one that is mighty to save he always saved the unexpected look at a man like joseph in the theology of numerology joseph was number 11 11 is not a good number theologically one is beginning two is witness three is the number of god four is the number of balance five is the number of grace six is the number of man seven is the number of perfection eight is the number of a new beginning nine is the number of fruitfulness ten is the number of blessing eleven is the number of confusion so David was number Joseph was number confusion but God the God that we know he chooses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise out of the mouth of babes and suckling thou as ordained praise that thou mightest steal the avenger listen to me child of god it is so good that now they despise you it is so wonderful that now they talk down on you it is so wonderful that now they don't believe in you now they don't support you so that when you rise no one can take credit so that when you rise they can't say they are part of your lifting so that when you rise nobody can take the glory hear me child of god god has a plan for your life don't let the devil discourage you don't let the hatred of men discourage you he said the reproach of them that reproach thee fell on me there is somebody under the sound of my voice you are rising from the corner i say you are rising from the corner for the stone that the builders rejected has become the head of the corner you are rising from the corner i say you are rising from the corner somebody shout i am unpredictable i'm unpredictable i know Ow. I am unpredictable I am unpredictable mm. there are so many of us right now have you seen when people have not seen you for a while they look at you and some of them the first thing they ask you where are you now and they know you are nowhere they know you are nowhere they want you to say it with your mouth uh, where, where are you now uh, uh, are you still oh, oh they know they are keeping tabs on you but they want you to to say it. they've concluded on you i like it when people look at you and they feel there's nothing good that can come out of you joseph made a mistake 
he thought the father was wise he went to the father he said my brothers can understand the dream sit down he said i have a dream this time around i saw the sun and the moon bowing down to me the father thought the sun represented him the moon represented the mother and he said you mean your mother and i will worship you why was that man overrating himself who made him son who made his wife moon that was an arrogance taken too far he said i am my mother and your mother no who is the son as you are unto them that fear my name shall the son of righteousness that was jesus who is the moon the moon is that which gives forth light the bible says in james 1 17 all good and perfect things come from above from the father of light so what was joseph saying the son jesus the moon god the father he was in the have a dream that even jesus the son and god the father are in support of my dream so my father i am unstoppable no matter the hatred you showed me since jesus is in support since god is hey, since god is in support and jesus is in support my dream must come to pass i don't know the dream that you have god has sent me to tell you is in support of your dream god has sent me to tell you is in support of your dream that dream will come to pass you will become what god has said you will be i say you become what god has said you will be the hatred of man cannot stop the goodness of god i said the hatred of man cannot stop the goodness of god lift your one shot i will become <laughs> mm. he has an agenda those were the spies who would have thought that Israel that was despised that was rejected in the land of Egypt would suddenly become a mighty force a mighty nation who would have thought that they will walk out of Egypt the walking out of Egypt is moving from the world into Christ is being born again and they entered the Red Sea which means that once you are born again you must be baptized in water that speaks of baptism and that also speaks of a delivery it shows that egypt was giving birth to israel when a woman is giving birth the first thing that happened is that our water breaks in red sea that was when the water of the conception of israel the water broke and these were people walking out of captivity walking out of limitation the same people that were slaves the same people that were ignored the same people that were abandoned god had a plan let me child of god god will allow people treat you badly so that when you are lifted you know how to treat people better god will allow people show you hatred so that when you are lifted you know how to disperse love god will allow you go through poverty so that you know what it feels to be hungry and you can help the poor god will allow you go through rejection so that you can stand with people and identify with them god will allow you go through cataclysm he will allow you go to despotency he will allow men to turn their backs on you he will allow men to be critical of you so that when he lifts you up sir everyone close to me can tell you i cannot stand you speaking against anybody if you try to speak against somebody i will attack you you know why i have been spoken against and i know how painful it can be when you bring up a topic about anybody i will attack you i said leave that person alone you say look at this look at this. i said leave it like that because i know what it means for you to be troubled that you have gotten enemy without a cause 
there are some people that hate you and they don't know why they hate you they just hate you because they hate you why do they hate you they don't know you are not living in the same house you didn't marry the same wife you didn't marry the same husband you are not doing the same business you are not buying clothes from the same place you don't go to the same market yet they cannot see you and be happy for you they are angry the unexpected I'm here I'm not here I'm not here for those who can figure who already have their plans who already have it figured out who already have how they've already mapped out strategies for their rising I'm here for those who have expectations but they don't know how it will manifest I'm here for those who have dreams and aspiration but they don't know how it will come to pass I'm here for those who have a goal who have an expectation who have what they are pursuing but they don't know they don't know how it's going to come to pass I want you to know that you may not see the wind you may not see the rain yet the valley shall be filled of water you may not see the wind you may not see the rain yet this valley shall be full of water lift up your hands and shout hallelujah hallelujah Ow. If you can understand it then you don't need God if you can figure it out then you don't need God God said to me go to Auchi and I said Auchi or Bauchi God said go to Auchi I got into the car I got to the redeem camp and I flagged them I said please stop I entered the camp because everything I knew about this town was not nice I used to come and minister once in a while I thought all the witches in the world lived here I thought all the demons in Africa they were headquartered here I got into the camp for 40 days over 40 days I was asking God are you the one that sent me are you the one that sent me as I came I decided to visit a pastor I went to his church the first thing I saw was that all the youths gathered and they were pushing his car I said, what a way to welcome me. I said, Lord, what is this? They were pushing the man's car. I said, are you the one that sent me? He said, yes. I said, people go to their village when they are old. Why are you sending me here? When I'm young, I want to go to America. I have it all planned out. By that time, years ago, my accent, I had configured speaking like an American. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. When I minister then in Lagos, I, I mean, I was living in Lagos on the mainland. I was having seminars and services. Glory be to God, hallelujah to God, hey, amen, praise God. What a God we serve, what a God we serve. Ooh, my God, my God, my God. I was rehearsing. I was low budget Americana. I was practicing already. I'm not joking. Talking to my friends and all the kind of friends I had to all of them here, yeah, wannabes, wannabes. All of us wannabe confused, brother. Hey, bro, what's up? Hey, man, glory to God. Where you been, man? Glory to God, glory to God. Hey, where, where's the other guy? Where, where's he at, man? Oh, glory to God, glory, glory. I'm just excited. God done something in my life. God's done something in my life. Glory be to God. Amen. Woo! Every one of us on the mainland. We are living in Ikeja, Lagos. We are all Ikeja Americanas. All of us, all of us. That's how we're talking. Because we all had a vision for America. We are Nigeria. We had already shared states. I told them New York or Chicago. One of my friends, he has never been there, just likes the world 
Alabama. He said, I just like Alabama. <laughs> I've never been there, but I just like the sound Alabama. I said, what if you get there and it's not nice? See, so long the name doesn't change. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> and now we are praying. And the voice of the Lord comes. Go to Auchi. I lost my friends all of them left me I showed them this to God that stood me said, you going where you want to go where man this guy has gone nuts you got some brain screwed off some screws off your, off your brain you want to go home we're going back to the States so what about your dream for New York and Chicago ouchie <laughs> man this ain't God this ain't God at all this ain't God this ain't God these are some powers from your village man and I had God the last time no not the last time I was in this part of California I'm trying to remember is it Oakland? It should be Oakland. <laughs> I'm not talking about the one close to your village. <laughs> I was in Oakland, California, and I was moving towards the car. I saw somebody was on face cap, so he took off the car. But wow, I remembered him. So I gave me her. And he gave me Chuck Knuckle. He said, Man, you made it. You made it. You made it. You made it. I said, Man, I made it, man. I got to the States on my own, man. I made it. But this time he was a cab driver. There's nothing wrong in being a cab driver. He came before his time. I waited for the right time. When you appear before your time, you disappear. And that's what's happening now. Every young pastor, most in this ministry, every one of them as soon as they finish the bible school and they desire to work with this ministry they get a passport they want to go abroad they want to travel abroad i told the young man i said it's not just going abroad things are bad there he said let me go papa just let me uh, let me experience it i said it's not that he said papa it doesn't matter not the person they stay there let's go to the abroad he got back after eight months he started talking to me strategically he said papa these things are hard though this abroad is overrated so i'm seeing my pastors in nigeria i see what they are doing i can't even post my service online he said i don't know if there's any if you can walk any vacancy for me to come back i said no 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 in life we move forward we just move forward In life we don't go backward everyone who knows me I, I, if you know me if you have seen me drive I, do, I don't reverse no I don't reverse I don't know how to reverse it's, a, it's, it's just a law even in driving I don't reverse I turn around I don't reverse I don't go back like this no ah, we miss this as okay we turn around in our life there's no reverse gear Am I talking to somebody here? Number two. Mighty to say. The Bible says everywhere Joseph entered, he made an impact. He that is mighty to save releases influence on those he saves. Releases influence. Everywhere Joseph entered, he left a mark. Joseph had the gift of dreams. When he entered the prison, he transferred that gift on the prisoners. The prisoners too began to dream. When the prisoners, one of them entered Pharaoh's palace, he transferred the gift of Pharaoh. Pharaoh too began to dream. 
there's an unction called the unction of influence when that unction comes on you you affect and infect everywhere you enter in that office you leave a mark in that nation you leave a mark it's called the anointing for influence it's an aura an atmosphere that you command it's an anointing that impacts life it affects and infects am i speaking to somebody the bible says in the book of joel this generation of people a fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burned. that is influence is an error for you to be in a locality and your impact is not felt is an error for you to be in an office and they don't feel your presence everywhere joseph entered he was a leader everywhere joseph entered he announced himself in the house of potiphar he was a leader in prison he was a leader the bible says that everything that was done in the prison joseph was the doer of them that was an anointing for impact there is somebody under the influence of my voice when god is through with you tonight everywhere and every fabric of your life every fabric of your human life every fabric of your social life every fabric of your financial life i see impact i see influence i see influence i see influence the bible says this was love and speaking in genesis 30 27 love and said i have learned by experience that god has blessed me because of you i have learned by experience in other words i can feel your influence i can feel your impact i can feel your presence god sent me to tell you i just like this now there is a notice me anointing that's about to rest on your life everywhere you step in from now you will not be hidden i say you will not be hidden a city set upon a hill cannot be hidden you are the salt of the earth you are the light of the world i see influence i see illumination 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 somebody shout i receive i receive i receive i receive i receive i receive influence commands increase influence commands increase genesis 26 verse 13 the man waxed great he increased he went forward until he became very great the man increased the bible says in zechariah chapter 10 verse 8 he said they shall increase as they have increased in psalm 115 and verse 14 he said god shall increase you more and more in exodus 1 verse 7 the children of israel increased and they were fruitful and they multiplied in the land in psalm 71 verse 21 thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side in job chapter 8 and the 7 though thy beginning was small thy latter end should greatly increase in first corinthians 3 verse 6 paul planted apollos water it but god give it the increase there's an anointing for increase that is about to be released upon somebody's life there's an anointing for expansion there's an anointing for extension that's about to be released upon the life of an individual god wants to take you from being an individual into becoming an institution god wants to take you from being a principality into a municipality god wants to take you into a realm of super abundant prosperity i see increase coming upon you i see influence coming upon you be on your feet somebody be on your feet be on your feet be on your feet somebody shout influence influence shout increase increase shout influence influence 
Shout again, increase. Increase. Shout influence. Influence. Shout increase. Increase. Isaiah 46 verse 10 the Bible tells us God's proactiveness Isaiah 46 verse 10 God sees the end from the beginning before God can I surprise you before God your end starts before your beginning. God sees your end first before he sees your beginning. Adam was created as an adult. God was trying to let you know what he meant by end from beginning. Adam was not created as a baby. That is a clear explanation of end from beginning that's how God sees things Adam was created the day Adam was created was the day he got married actually, actually that was why Eve did, that's why Eve did not understand Adam because there was no courtship that's what Adam said to God he says the wife you gave me you I didn't say I wanted one. You gave me. God said, oh really? Now you blame me. From today.